Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested, and today we're in my home office. And that's because I wanna talk about a product I've been testing for the past month that's a little too big to bring to the office, and that's this guy right here. We'll be taking a quick look at LG's 43-inch 4K monitor. It's the 43UD79. For a lot of people shopping for a monitor, you look at a couple primary specs, right? You look at the screen size, you look at the resolution, and you also look at the refresh rate. And I think for a lot of gamers, there's a real sweet spot right now in that 27-inch 1440p 144Hz uh, type monitor that has maybe G-Sync or FreeSync. So if you have a modern graphics card, you can run some games at really high refresh rates, really high frame rates, um, and silky smooth. But I love resolution. And I previously was using a 27-inch 4K Dell monitor at 60 hertz, IPS display, great for photo editing. Um, but at 27 inches, you know, Windows 10, 100% scaling, I think text is still a little too small uh, for my liking. I have to squint my eyes just a little bit if I'm running Chrome or my web browser at 100%, I'm typically running it then at 125% or even 150%. And if you're running Windows at 1.5X scaling or even 200% scaling, some legacy apps don't look that great. You see some text dithering or things or some inconsistent UI elements. So I always prefer to run Windows 10 at 100% scaling and 27 inches 4K, still a little bit too small for me. And also 4K monitors right now are pretty much stuck at 60 hertz. I know there are a couple 4K monitors that are supposed to go up to 144 hertz, but those aren't out yet, maybe later this year or early next year. So the thing I wanted to mess around with, with was size. And that's where we come to this guy, a 43 inch 4K IPS display. Yes, yeah, still at 60 hertz, but 43 inches. Now both Dell and LG released monitors of this size and resolution this year with multiple inputs. And the idea was that you can plug in, for example, four different type of inputs and have it display images uh, picture by picture in one in each quadrant. And there are plenty of inputs in the back of this monitor. You have four HDMI ports, you have a display port, and you also have a USB type C port that also takes in a display port signal. Uh, now that means if you have, for example, a bunch of game consoles and you wanna plug them and use them in your desk, at your desk, uh, alongside your computer, you could plug all your game consoles in here and switch between them or even run them side by side in a bunch of different configurations. You could even have uh, two images, one at the top, one at the bottom, both in an ultra wide configuration or one taking up half the screen and then another two taking up the top and bottom. Now those inputs I mentioned before, not all of them are created equal. Of the four HDMI ports, only two of them are HDMI 2.0, which lets you do the full 4K 60 hertz. The other two are HDMI 1.4, so you're capped out at 4K 30 hertz. But that only really makes sense. It only matters to you if you need 4K 60, if you're plugging in for gaming PCs into this uh, and then switching side by switching one between them. If you're running them side by side in quadrants, you're basically running four 1080p monitors that are equivalent of uh, 22 inches or so. And how I've been using it, well, primarily with one computer and then switching between a PS4 Pro and that seems to be working great. So what is life like using a 43 inch monitor that takes up this much of your desk real estate? Well, it takes a while to get used to. Getting acclimated to this monitor took about two weeks or so of daily use. Cause frankly, the first week of using it, I thought it was way, way too big. But after a couple weeks of photo editing, of web browsing, multiple, running multiple windows and even video editing and some gaming on this monitor, I'm really, really liking it. Um, the pixel density of this is actually very comparable to one of those 30 inch 2160 by 1600 monitors, like the old Apple cinema displays. I know it's not retina resolution or pixel density, but at the distance of about two and a half feet, three feet from the monitor, I find that my eyes can see everything and I'm not moving my head a lot. With a 27 inch monitor at 4K, I was pretty much like about two feet from the screen at all times doing a little bit of squinting. Here, I could actually be a little further away and uh, not have any uh, neck strain from having to move my neck around. Uh, image quality is great, great for photo editing. I, in fact, worked on a lot of the uh, Terry English series that we debuted on Tested uh, this past month. Uh, was edited on this monitor and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Actually, I don't even need to feel like I need to run Lightroom 
at full screen, I can run it in a window alongside web browsers, um, and I'm loving all that screen real estate. Now, there are a couple things that I found didn't work so great with this monitor, and one of them was gaming. I, I was surprised that gaming wasn't fantastic on this. Uh, not just because it's a 60 hertz, 60 FPS monitor max out, but because it is, I think, a little too big for gaming. When you're playing something like, you know, Quake Champions, for example, the UI elements, you know, all that HUD is in the bottom, and I want to focus in the center, and there is maybe too much information spread across too much of the screen here. Um, it, it's not comparable to like putting on a VR headset and, and being able to move around. I think it is a little bit too much if you're gonna be playing fast paced gaming this close. Now, if you wanna sit a couple feet further back and grab a game pad and play a platformer, this is gonna be great for that. But up close, fast paced gaming, not for here. Um, and then also along the edges of the monitor, I noticed a little bit of a weird visual artifact. There's a little bit of blurring about maybe half a centimeter along the edge on all four sides. Uh, so for example, if you look at the start menu, the bottom corner of the start menu, or if you're moving windows between two monitors, you'll definitely notice a little bit of fuzziness along the edges. Um, it's only bothers me when I move in windows between different monitors, but if you're focusing on something in the center, then not so much of a problem. Uh, brightness is at 350 nits, which is pretty bright, but it's not HDR. Um, so you don't have that compatibility for 4K HDR. And speaking of brightness, the backlight, it's a PWM backlight, which for some people will give them a little bit of eye strain and they can notice some flickering. I didn't notice flickering on this and LG in fact released some new firmware to help uh, improve that. And I think believe the, uh, the backlight now refreshes at 480 Hertz to minimize flickering even more. But all in all, I'm really loving daily use of this monitor from web browsing to photo editing to video editing and some gaming a little further back. I think it's a pretty impressive feat that for about $700, you can get a monitor of this size and this quality to put on your desk. I don't think it's the holy grail of computer monitors so far. I think we still want 4K HDR, 144 Hertz with non-PWM backlighting, but that's just a pipe dream. This is what's real and this is what you can buy today. So that's a quick look at the LG 43UD79 um, and I will see you next time. Bye.